Let's get an example about production approach of GDP. So let's assume that we have two years, 2020 and 2021, and we will have the price and the quantity. So let's assume that we talk about markers. In 2020, the price of a marker is $10 and the quantity produced is 1 million. In 2021, the price increased from $10 to be $12 but the quantity produced is exactly the same, which is 1 million. So can we calculate our GDP? Yes, we can. Here for simplicity, we have only one product. So based on production approach formula, it will be the price times quantity. So for year 2020, the price of 10 times quantity of 1 million, it will give us GDP of 10 million. In 2021, a price of 12 times quantity of 1 million, it will give us 12 million. So could you please look here at the GDP and tell me which year is better, 2020 or 2021? Some of you will look and compare the 10 million with 12 million. Some will say 12 million is bigger than 10 million. Therefore, 2021 is better than 20. So let's return back to our definition. Do you remember in the previous video we defined GDP as all goods and services produced in a country in one year? So this means that if 2021 has a higher GDP, this means that we have more goods and services. So let's look at quantity. You'll discover that the quantity is exactly the same for 2020 and 2021. So how come quantity is the same, but we have a higher GDP? Therefore, every time we talk about GDP, we discover that in this example, since the quantity is the same, GDP is higher mainly because of higher prices and a continuous increase in price it means that we have an inflation therefore every time we talk about gdp we need to differentiate between two types of gdp nominal gdp and real gdp what do you mean by nominal gdp nominal gdp it reflects current or market prices therefore it reflects inflation consequently it will be misleading like in our example here, we assume 2021 will be better than 2020 because GDP in 2021 is higher than the nominal GDP in year 2020. But in reality, this higher nominal GDP comes from higher prices, not higher quantity. Therefore, nominal GDP would be misleading. And every time we look at the GDP, it's nominal. Therefore, we need to convert our nominal GDP into real GDP. So what do you mean by real GDP? We need to eliminate inflation. How are we going to eliminate inflation? We need to have constant or fixed prices. So we need to go to a certain year and make it as a base year. And with this base year, we will fix the price. Consequently, we're going to eliminate inflation. Therefore, this will be more accurate. So in order to sum up, we could say that nominal GDP measures a change in price as well as a change in quantity. While with real GDP, our prices are constant. So if we have constant prices, the change in price will be what? Zero. This means real GDP measures only a change in quantity. Therefore, in our example here, the GDP we calculated is considered nominal or real. It's considered nominal GDP. Then we need to calculate real GDP. So in order to calculate real GDP, we need to choose a base year. And for this base year, we will fix the price. So let's assume that in our example here, we will get 2020 as a base year. So I will fix the price in year 2020. Therefore, for year 2020, what will be our real GDP? I will get price times quantity. So it will be 10 times 1 million. So it will be 10 million. What about year 2021? I need to get the price of the base year, our constant price, our fixed price, which is $10, multiplied by the new quantity of 2021. Therefore, I will get the price of 2020, our base year, our constant price, multiplied by the quantity of year 2021. So it will be 10 times 1 million. It will give me 10 million. Therefore, if you look at real GDP, which year is better, 2020 or 2021? They are exactly the same. So why they are exactly the same? because we have the same quantity because real gdp measures a change in quantity only therefore 
real GDP is more accurate compared to nominal GDP. Nominal GDP is misleading because it reflects inflation. 